So today we're going to talk about how dry and horrible your skin is. <laughs> like everybody else, you're washing your hands like a million times a day and it's probably cracking and turning red and, and irritated um, just like everybody else's is. So we're going to touch base on some reasons why that is and then also some home remedies to kind of to fix that because not everybody's running to a store uh, or may not have things at home to take care of that. So we'll start with, well, let's start with healthy skin tells a lot about your body. So you're, you want your skin to be healthy because when, he when skin is not healthy, it can tear easily and it can crack and bleed. And that is allowing germs to get into your skin. Now, the the current coronavirus situation that is not going to get into your skin and go into your bloodstream so that's that's not the uh concern but you can get other sorts of infections in your skin um with germs if they're cracked and bleeding so we're going to look at look at your skin almost like it's a it's a brick wall okay so when you when you have a brick wall you have the bricks and then in between that you have the the cement or the mortar so um, your skin is kind of like that. So there's bricks and the bricks hold your moist, hold the moisture. Okay. So um, the mortar is, is what gives the, the flexibility and the elasticity in your skin and also helps hold the moisture into, let's say the brick to <laughs> simplify it in that way. And you, you want to retain as much as the moisture in the brick um, to keep it healthy because if it's not, if a brick is very dry for anybody that's in construction or has bricks in their house, it starts to chip and break and crack. And so there should be some level of moisture in there. So we'll, um, so the, uh, you'll see on certain moisturizers like vitamin A and vitamin B, those increase the firmness in your moisture levels and then vitamin C and vitamin E they help protect new skin and then they they will help heal damaged skin so those are those are some of the uh, vitamins that will help some of the factors in why your skin gets so dry so hot water for one you take a shower I take extremely hot showers uh, and I know to moisturize as soon as I get out of the shower because hot water strips your skin of all of its natural oils um and that's why you feel so clean when you get out of a shower you feel like there's like nothing on your skin because it's essentially stripping away everything the good and the bad so that's why moisturizing is so important as soon as you get out of the shower um air conditioning the the cold air um dries out your skin um the what else yeah i mean there there are different different environments are play factor in, in your skin, especially going from hot to cold. And, um, so you want to moisturize as much as possible. Now, the type of moisturizers that you may be using, or you may not have at home readily available to you, uh, vary. They, they, there's oil-based ones and there's water-based ones. Water-based ones go on very easily and Scott, yep. Indoor low humidity. Um, Water-based moisturizers go on very easily and absorb very easily, but they're not giving you much moisture on your skin. Um, Oil-based moisturizers really are the best, especially in this type of environment when you're washing your hands so much. I keep a small little moisturizer bottle on my sink. Every time I wash my hands, I just put a drop of moisturizer on and just um, rub them and, and you don't want to put moisturizer on and then just leave it and let it air dry. You really want to rub, rub it in until it's almost fully absorbed. Uh, that helps with the circulation in your fingers. Um, a lot of people get very cold in their hands that improves circulation. Also the fact that you're improving the circulation and the blood flow to your fingers helps regenerate new skin. So whether it's on your hands, your legs, your arms, all over your body. Um, you shed skin cells every day. Um, and that's mostly what's in the dust in your house is, is, is mostly your skin cells kind of gross. I know, but <laughs> that's, um, you know, so you, you want to keep the healthy skin healthy 
and moisturizing. So drinking uh, eight glasses of water a day absolutely helps keep the moisture in your skin. Using a humidifier at home, a moist air, cool moist air humidifier at home is great for your skin. It's also really great for your lungs and your and your respiratory system because moisture, uh, keeping your sinus area moist helps pr helps prevent germs from getting into your body. It's your body's natural way. When your when your mouth and your nose is very dry, um, bacteria can get in more easily into your body and you can get sick that way, but that's a whole nother life. <laughs> um, so if you have really severely dry and cracked hands, um, one immediate remedy would be an oatmeal bath, Put just soak your hands in, in oatmeal or if your if your, your legs too, if you're, if you're having a vino sells, um, some baths that you can packets that you can buy, you could probably get on like Amazon or one of the Walgreens or something like that. Uh, if you really need it and, um, you just want to soak in like an oatmeal that helps, that helps, um, heal some of the moisture. There are, um, there are other, I know that there is, I'm drawing a blank on the, the name of the moisturizer we use for my mom. And I can't believe that it's like one of the aquaphor is one of the best moisture, moisture, healing moisturizers out there. It's really, really thick and, uh, they use it a lot in the hospitals, but it's a great moisturizer if you if you have damaged skin, which is tearing or cracked or bleeding. Um, some at home solutions if you don't have a moisturizer and you're not going to run to the store to go buy one. So olive oil is a great moisturizer. People don't really think like olive oil. You use it for cooking, especially extra virgin olive oil, but you can use regular olive oil as well. Uh, you would just need like one or two drops for your hands if you're using it on your hands. You can use it on your face, but I wouldn't recommend it because it can, um, especially if you're prone to acne or clogged pores on your face, but your hands for sure. Olive oil is a great moisturizer. Sunflower oil, avocado oil, again, just like one or two drops to use. Um, one or two drops to use and rub them in really well. Um, Coconut oil, Vaseline, uh, petroleum jelly, both are, you know, other two options to use that you may have at home. Shea butter and cocoa butter are two very common things that you'll find in um, moisturizers. Uh, you'll see that advertised. They're, they're both great moisturizers for your skin. And also, if you really don't have anything, aloe vera. Aloe vera is a great moisturizer. You probably have a bottle of it sitting in your bathroom from the summer. If you ever got sunburn, you can put aloe vera on. That's another moisturizer. So there's plenty of options that you have in your cabinet, but it's really important to moisturize every time that you're washing your hands so that you're not getting that dry, cracked skin because then you don't want to get an infection. You have another, uh, we have enough, we have enough things to worry about than you getting infections and getting, a, you know, anything going into your skin. And especially if you're caring for somebody like I know with my mom, we used to moisturize her every single day because if we didn't, she, her skin would actually start to tear. And when you're fighting, you know, and her doctor used to tell us all the time that we wanted to keep her healthy as much as possible and avoid any little infection in her body because her, her body really needed to focus on the healing from her stroke and her brain. So even something small, like an infection in her, in her arm or her hands, from dried cracked skin could take away the resources that her body needs to, to fight, um, and using it towards that. So they, um, you know, so, so those were some key things that doctors used to mention to us as well. And, and I think people tend to forget, yes, Denise, I mentioned olive oil. It's a great, um, moisturizer. You, you know, you don't need a lot. It's not like it's, you're not going into like a, a wrestling, uh, you know, <laughs> Uh, you just need a couple of drops and rub it on your hands or your skin. Olive oil is a great moisturizer and it has a lot of other benefits too for your skin. Uh, it has the vitamin E, uh, there are some antioxidants in there. There are some natural things. So olive oil is good. Um, so yeah, you want to, you, when you first get out of a shower or if you're taking care of somebody, you know, showering them, um, you don't want to rub the skin you want to pat it, you want to pat it dry because when you put the moisturizer on the skin after that, 
it'll have some moisture and now you're adding it and it seals it in. So those are just some, some little key things to remember when you get out of the shower, just pat your skin dry and then put some moisturizer on right away to, to seal it. Um, Denise, it's not even just when you have nothing left. Olive oil, you know, there are some people, I know when, when I went to Italy, they, there were people, they would literally take the olive oil and put it on their hands. I've, I saw many people putting like a drop or two on their hands and just moisturizing their hands while they were at dinner. So it's actually quite common practice in, in other parts of the world. Um, and your hands will smell good. They'll smell like olive oil. So that's pretty much the basis of the, you know, dry skin. Hopefully I gave you guys some solutions. If anyone has any questions, um, I'm certainly here. Are there any topics that you want to hear about? By all means, please drop them in the comments below. And I appreciate you watching.